The 15th century, the Quattrocento, was a, an exciting time to be in Florence. It was a time of rebirth, the Renaissance, the revival of the ancient world in the arts, in science, in literature, and in engineering. Here, for example, Filippo Brunelleschi used Roman engineering to create this vast dome over the Duomo, the Cathedral of Florence. And here, Donatello created the very first freestanding statue of a man since antiquity. But therein lay the problem. You see, unlike architects and sculptors, painters didn't have any Roman originals to imitate. The discovery of Pompeii still lay some two centuries in the future. But they did have something else, a great secret that would change everything. The man who discovered the secret was the same man who built a dome over the cathedral, Filippo Brunelleschi. You see, while Brunelleschi was taking measurements of ancient temples in Rome, he had discovered that when you draw a street or a building, all the horizontal lines seem to converge to a common center, what today we call the vanishing point. Brunelleschi had discovered the laws of linear perspective. It revolutionized Renaissance art. Suddenly, painters could create an illusion of three-dimensional space, as if the image they'd created was a window into another reality. You know, for us it's almost impossible to imagine the impact of this innovation. Why? Because today we are surrounded by simulated images in the form of billboards, television, cinema. They have conditioned our brain to interpret flat images as three-dimensional reality. But in the Middle Ages, men and women never had that experience before. And so they must have been utterly amazed by a painting like this one. The Crucifixion by Masaccio, the first fresco in history to use linear perspective. People in those days must have thought it was some form of magic to see space where there was only a flat wall. 